It just makes me really mad, not gonna lie. Okay, it says we're back live. Um, I don't know why it DC'd. I'm, li I'm literally clueless. I, d I don't know why I DC'd. Oh, no. Okay, chatters. Um, if you're watching on mobile, refresh, because it DC'd, it DC'd. I mean, I think Twitch is I It's just... It's more... You don't really think about it until, like, shit happens. Because Twitch is like, Oh, our servers are so expensive to run! And we don't really see the issue if the, until the servers get busted. Okay, Twitch support tweeted eight minutes ago. We are aware of issues with the site and our teams are actively working on the resolution. Thank you for your reports and patience while we work on it. We'll keep you updated. Uh... Okay, well, I guess... We're live again, so let's get back to work. VOD Watchers in shambles. Part two, part two. Um, chatters, if you can hear me, type two, type two. Or type your favorite number, which is obviously not 69. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna add Instead of fully filling in with art like the orange, I'm gonna do lines of brown. That way when I blend, it'll look like streaks. Thank you guys for sticking around. I appreciate you guys. Damn, I fucking hate when the VODs are split. It's so confusing. That's why I, t I usually go back and title the VODs like part one, part two. That way if you miss the stream, you know which one to watch first. Did you hear that chat? Wait, what did I say? Oh, she appreciates me? Oh. I think Potato's gonna become a parasocial viewer. Or maybe they're a simp already, I'll never know. <laughs> oh, I did a little spin. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate anybody who watches. Cause just to think that you guys like spending time with me is really nice and sweet. I can never do that. You can never simp? Says you. I to love. <laughs> I can never be parasocial. Didn't you- wait, Mag, Mag, didn't you say that you like record videos to like remember key moments in your life and then you talked about me? You talked about me? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I think it's really cute to think that like what I do makes an impact some level i think is really sweet i'm embarrassed you self-reported you told the chat anything chatters keep in mind anything you guys see in the chat is public so i can girl you for it i can reiterate what you said remember the log stream it's like that shit i can never show my user in chat I mean, you use your alt account, and then you go ban. Easy. <laughs> That's one way to do it. <sighs> um, if you're new here, follow the channel, because we are basically 30 hours into stream. 30 hours? <laughs> 30 minutes. I have to run an ad, though. Um, wait, I started at 11, so it's not time for an ad, but I still have to run- Okay, I have to run a one-minute ad, just so we can avoid pre-rolls. So, if you want to avoid the ad sub... One minute ad, sorry! Yeah, because I have to run ads at the start and end of my stream. That way I can... minimize how many pre-rolls I get. 
near the beginning and end. Okay, now we're blending. Okay, good. The black pen is not smearing. So just so you guys can see the difference, this part right here, oh, it's not focusing as much. I use the blend, because see how the color is a lot brighter? Because when you, um, when you blend, it's, it spreads the pigment around, and it makes it brighter, typically, as well. You can see how much brighter that is. World record, shortest stream ever. Um, that kill. I want for April Fools last year. I wanted to do a bit where I did like a one minute stream, but then it would kill my algorithm or my mod notifications. Because the issue when you start an end stream too quickly or within four hours, then people don't get another goal light notification. So since the stream F'd and DC'd at the one hour mark, a second notification will not go out. Because notifications only go out every four hours. Because sometimes if you, for example, do an eight hour stream, people will get two notifications at your live. They'll get one when you start and then one at your four hour mark. Okay, you can see this half is blended. And this is not. You can definitely see the color opacity, opaque. It's drastically different. I forgot how much I loved these blenders. I'm glad I found them. The only thing when you work with these type of like blending pencils is you have to blend in the way you want. In the direction you want it to go. So, since I want the hair to flow down, my blender's gonna follow that line. Like, I'm not gonna blend like this, because then it's gonna blend in the wrong direction. All blended now. Oh, what's the record for the shortest stream? I don't know what it is. Actually, don't know. I'm clueless. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with the same brown. Since it's blended, it's not gonna be as dark as before. I'm gonna get my pencil really sharp. And then I'm going to do, like, individual lines for hair strands. Our emotes not loading again. East I2 spin. Huh, that's weird. That emote should work. is done. I think I want to add some more orange streaks. Just to brighten it up in some parts.
Yeah, this is like slow down reverb Animal Crossing. And it's nice because it didn't get copyrighted. Because usually for like remixes, they do get collapsed sometimes. But this one didn't. So this is now in the playlist. Two way from sub goal. Ain't no way. I mean, if we hit 80 subs, they will unlock a new sub goal stream. He said to gasp. There we go, that's done. I gotta put a new pin message, I forgot. That whole debacle. What's it gonna be? Um, exclamation sub goals in chat. It's also in my about section, but I think it's geometry dash. Hey, pin messages work now. Oh no, not that! <laughs> what? You don't think Jamie should just be fun? I think it'll be very fun. Yeah, I gotta start working faster. Oh, I blew the card away. that gifted sub mac i appreciate you can we get some wax in chat for mac thank you mac you are gonna get your name written at the end of stream thank you mac oh look at that look at that wait where's my finger you're tied for number one ain't no way I see the blend on the pink. Why does it say if I subbed, even though I gifted? It's just how the Streamlabs alerts are. I There's no way for me to fix it. That's just like the default, and there's no way for me to change it, even though I've tried to change the default. I don't know. Because it's one of those things, I think, where if you change a setting... It creates like an overlap because you can have like it's say a different thing or play like different alerts if you gift like five subs or ten subs or custom amounts. But anytime I tried to do one gifted sub, it won't change the text. My mom got me a crystal for Christmas. What type of crystal? <laughs> huh? Don't be self-reporting. Thank you. 
<laughs> Jay Crystal. <laughs> I mean, don't you wear, like, crystal necklaces and stuff? I think in your last picture you sent me for a card, it had a crystal necklace, right? I want to get into wearing jewelry, but I don't know what I want to wear. I want to get into rings. But the problem is my fingers are really pudgy. So they don't look nearly as good on me. Yeah, I think for the background, I'll do an ombre of blue to purple. Let's see if I can blend this good. Or good enough, not this good. So similar to earlier, we're gonna blend this way. That way the gradient faces the right direction. Okay, I didn't blend as well as I could have. <laughs> Dude, it looks so bad. <laughs> Guys, I'm a pro, I'm a pro. Okay, I'm gonna try and bring some of the darker pigment down by blending down. Oh my god, actually throwing. I haven't blended like this in so long. You get a Roku? Why'd you get a Roku? Honey, my sister got a Roku? Because we got. Ooh, I almost knocked my candle princess. My sister and I, we got TVs at the same time. And she's like, I want to get a Roku. And I was like, You should get a Samsung because we have Samsungs and you can control your TV with your phone. And she's like, No, I want to get a Roku. Because granted, it was like $80 cheaper. And then when she saw that my TV was better. <laughs> she was so mad. Okay, I think in order to fix this gradient, I need to add more medium blue. 
You had an Amazon Fire TV and it sucked. I've never seen one of those. We have a fire stick at my parents' house, but... If you have, like, a console, then you don't really need a, a USB stick or whatever. Yeah, I kind of fixed the gradient a little bit. Because I think the fire stick came free with our phone plan one month because they were doing, like, a promo or something. Okay, that looks a lot better now. Another issue you'll get with these blending pencils is since you're putting a lot of pressure, the wax does build up, which I'm trying to scratch off here. Because when you put too much pencil down, it builds up. And then you get like weird clumps. Okay, that looks a lot better now. Okay, I think I'll add eyeshadow, and then it'll be done. You have your consoles at your desk? Why? Why? I don't understand how people, when they stream, they can, like, play off their, like, OBS POV. But since I'm streaming from a laptop, the processing power isn't as good. So there's always going to be, like, a delay. There's, like, a half a second delay from what's on my TV versus what plays in my OBS preview. So I, I can't ever see myself play off my OBS. Like, I, I, I have to play off my TV. Ooh, that looks crazy. Damn, y'all got wall mounts on your TVs? I ain't never getting that shit. <laughs> I'm not allowed to, like, put screws in the wall. I don't think I'd want a wall mount TV, because, like, it wouldn't be able to rotate as easily. Or be kind of limited. Depending on what model mount you get. Okay, I think this one's done. Once again, thank you to Issa for gifting five subs last month. There we go. Okay, next card. Let's do Titans because they were in chat earlier. We haven't seen Cole Global yet today. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, can we get some wizards? <laughs> This one's gonna look crazy. <laughs> Next Fortnite stream when? Um... A million subs. Oh, I made that line way too thick. Fuck. He's just gonna have hooded eyes.
featuring nostrils. <laughs> I think for this one, I kind of want to keep this one black and white. That way it kind of accentuates the actual line art and the shape more so. I think that neckline looks pretty cool. Meg is so tired of my BS. No, I think it's fine. Because, like, this type of anatomy... You know how when you see comics or animated... Or animations to where, like, there's that one, like... Really ugly character? And they have, like, this really weird but interesting, like... Anatomy to them? I think it's really cool. Because, like, it kind of pushes you to... Work past says like, those like conventional proportions you have in your head, and it allows you to be a bit more expressive with your work. I'll put in a photo with teeth. I hate teeth. If you make me draw teeth, I hate teeth. I was gonna say I hate you, but that's not very nice. Hate is a very strong word. We should all smile with big teeth. No. I would hate that. That would make me really mad. I think the eyebrow shapes are really cool. I made that side a bit too thick. I don't want to do the lips. The lips are going to look so fucked. Oh, oh no. Oh, 
Oh, dude, it's so bad. I'm saying it's bad because, like, the anatomy is so weird. I'm failing in the math. I don't care. I feel like Meg is drawing a political cartoon. There was a phase where I did do, like, caricatures for fun. Like, I was learning how to do it. Because I think working at a caricature booth at, like, a fair or something would be fun. What I do like is that with this type of style, it can be a bit more messy. Let's make the shirt lines a bit thicker. There we go. Okay, let's erase. I think it looks cool. This is crazy. <laughs> it's not that wild. But you know what else is pretty wild? Having to watch ads because Shatters, we are technically an hour to stream because it's 1 p.m. So it's time for you to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Shit. I kicked my tripod. Anyway. You can avoid the ad by subscribing, or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime available. After that, we're going to keep on working, because we got to finish this card, and we got one more left. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. W ads, I know, right? Thank you for redeeming Wolf. We will do that at the end of stream for you. What? <laughs> I mean, if any ever if like... <laughs> If everybody subscribed, then there would be no ads. You know what's crazy? It was crazy. So I was looking at my revenue for December. Majority was obviously gifted subs and bits. Thank you once again. Um, but I had like barely any ad revenue when compared to other months because everybody got a sub <laughs> in December from like random gifted. So I got like barely any ad revenue in December, in December which is the best month to run ads. But either way, even if everybody watching is a sub, I still have to run them. I just thought it was interesting. I know, because I was looking through, I was like... Because your Twitch revenue, it breaks down all... Like, every single penny of your Twitch payout, and I was like, how did I get nothing from ads? And I was like, oh, it's because everybody's a fucking sub, which is great. Because even if, um... Even if everybody watching is a sub, it still counts towards, like, your CPM. Like, it's how many I see an ad, but you get... Like, they keep shocked for how many people would have been shown an ad, but you only get paid for the people who have to watch it, basically. Unless they're a Twitch Turbo user, because that's different. 
How should I color this? I, I still want to leave it black and white. Not gonna lie. I'll color the sweatshirt in the hair. texture of a not fully filled in color pencil it makes it look like a you know how they have like acid washed denim where it's not like a full blue that's what it kind of looks like to me oh i decided with the art channel I don't want to necessarily do a painting every week. I'll just... Because I was thinking I can either like post, like for example, every Friday or something. And then queue up videos. But I think I just want to post whenever I have stuff done. Like if I get two in a week, that's great. If I get one in two weeks, that's great. Why is the brown there? Oh, it's like an auburny brown. Sorry, you guys can't even see my color pencils. <laughs> Isn't creatine like hair stuff? If you have more of it, you're able to lift heavier weights. Are you doing steroids? Shamey, shamey. <laughs> it's just juicing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, give me a juice. <laughs> yeah, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Does anybody beat Darker Side in Odyssey? Because I know we like skimmed through a walkthrough yesterday. And it takes about 20 minutes to beat. I think I can do it tomorrow. I have six hours I can commit to.
And I think we'll also have donation incentives tomorrow, too. Like, if you cheer or sub, then I'll die. In game, you've never played Odyssey? What? Odyssey is, like, the best Mario game, hands down. It's still my favorite. Out of everything I've played, Odyssey is my favorite. I think it's because I like exploring. Like, I like when there's clear direction. Because Odyssey... It does give you some sense of direction. To where you can see yourself progress as you get as you find more moons. And you can easily speed run it. You can choose to do full completionist if you want. You've had no desire to what? You don't have the game, did you sell it or something? I might sell my copy after tomorrow's stream just so I can gain twenty bucks, you know? Because I've already beat it several times. Because the last time I played it was last year. About fall 2021. I was going to do a completionist run, but then I got bored. And then I haven't played it since. Oh, you played your cousin's copy. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I know this color looks really orange on camera, but it's more of like a brownie orange. It's not this bright, IRL. I couldn't sleep much last night, because whenever I have an idea, it's all I can think about. And last night, I was uh, as I was in bed, because I stopped playing Pokemon at like 11ish, and then I took my melatonin. And I was laying in bed trying to sleep, because I was like physically tired, like my eyes were drooping. But I couldn't stop thinking. Because like, I was thinking of different monologue ideas I could do for the art channel, right? And I have some pretty good topics. And I was up all night thinking about like how to write it out. But I was like, I know I shouldn't be doing this right now. But in my mind, I was just like writing them in my head. And I just remembered one of them right now. I think it was about like accountability. Related to like content creators. Like, not putting yourself on a pedestal just because you have an audience. Like, you're still a human. You can still fuck up. I just realized that's not his neck. I'd have to color that part in. Because my goal with the bead paints is to still make a, a nice product like a nice painting but I also want people to feel something when they listen to what I say you know because I think it was Crystal who was saying in chat yesterday that when they listened to the monologue even though it was only 49 seconds they said they started tearing up because it was so relatable and 
I just think that's such, like, a beautiful thing. Because there are some, like, like, open word poems or monologues that have stuck with me. Like, similar to, like, TED Talks, that type of realm. I think for the background, I want to do lines. I want to do lines that cascade down, but then have gaps. And I'll do them horizontal. That way they're not too distracting. You see? Because I don't want to do a solid background. I think lines. This is the way to go. Sorry, it's not on cam. It looks like wood green, kind of. I think I also want to do a series, not on stream, it would be offline, where I paint every Pokemon. But I do it on like mini canvases. Because imagine, imagine my stream background where it's just my wall and it's filled with like two inch canvases of Pokemon. And I could swap them out. How crazy would that be? That's a lot of Pokemon. Well, I have my whole life, don't I? But I would, like, do originals. Like, I wouldn't just, like, trace whatever official art of the Pokemon there is. I would try to, like, learn the anatomy, make a pose. I think that would go crazy. Because I think out of every game or TV media, Pokemon has been a constant. Even though I don't play the games... Playing Violet has made has reminded me how important to me it was when I was younger. You should only do slow pokes, but just like a million different poses. <laughs> I saw a meme saying, if you got Pokemon Violet, then you're gay. <laughs> and I was like, true. <laughs> this texture looks cool. It's gonna take a while, but the texture is very nice. My brother got me Violet. Ah. Well, they know. They knew. And my friend got me Violet, too. <laughs> He doesn't know he somehow guessed it right though. <laughs> nah, my friend knew. But they know they didn't know the meme.
Okay, this part up top is going to be difficult because it's going to be longer strokes. Got to focus. Okay, that one's crooked right here I clipped but it's fine because it's by the, the little wisp of the hair it's it no one will notice right no snitches Lodge check Titans they'll never know they'll never know they're gonna know you know that TikTok sound <laughs> I will snitch. Come on, Mac. Come on. Why would you do that to me? I thought you were a real one. Adds character? Exactly. See, you get it, Wolf. You get it. Wait, Mac. When are you gonna stream? You lied to me. You said you'd stream during Christmas, and then you lied to me. I don't like liars. I know. SMH. Okay, my Twitch mod view is glitching again. Uh oh. Uh, Chatters, if you can hear me, type three. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, awkward. Okay, chat is still showing on screen. Badges are gone again. Uh, I heck and love to which. It still says I'm online. Leaderboard is there. It's not showing a stream preview though. Oh, is that not showing on screen? Okay, yeah, that's there now. Um. Type 2 if you see this. The badges are gone again. Fuck you. <laughs> I thought they fixed it. Let's check Twitch Twitter again. It says, we are seeing site red recovery on Twitch. It will continue to monitor the recovery progress. So that was 20 minutes ago. So it's not fully fixed for everybody. Hmm. So it looks like it's going to keep lapsing in and out. Oh, 
Okay, well, let's keep working. Let's keep working. If y'all can hear me, that's great. And if you can't hear me, type so I know people are here. E, I see it. Yeah, okay, so it glitched for everybody then. Or a few people at least. I titans. People, hey. They haven't, like, fully resolved the issue apparently. So. Hi, Peasant's biggest fan. Ah, huh, Twitch. <laughs> I I can love Twitch. See that this is why I'm kind of glad. Okay, not that I'm glad the camera broke. Um, but this was happening all day or for a few hours on Tuesday as well. If I was running Twitch, this would never happen. Surely, clueless. <laughs> I mean. I don't know. It's because, like, there's so many users and there's so much, like, processing power it requires to run a website like Twitch, so I can understand why it's kind of wonky sometimes, but, you know. Oh well. Okay, my mod view is back, but the only thing that's not loading is the badges. Everybody's a non-sub? Did everybody unsubscribe when Twitch glitched? Kind of rude, not gonna lie. Taking away from the little guy. This line texture is really nice, though. I do like it a lot. Oh, that line is crooked. You guys probably can't tell, but it's gonna bug me. But you know what doesn't bug me? People who follow the channel! Because guys, we are about another 30 minutes in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you. If you're new here, follow the channel, you get to type in chat, and you get cool emotes. Which hopefully, after the crash is fixed, you'll get to actually see them. Yeah, it's back. Yeah, fucking Twitch. <laughs> okay, at least, not gonna lie, I'm glad it's crashing during this stream, and not during, like, a gaming stream. Because these type of streams, like the calligraphy or the art streams, are meant for regular chatters who want to hang out or see their pictures being shown, right? But for gaming, that's when I get more unique viewers. And I get mad internally when shit doesn't work, like if there's tech issues or anything. So I'm glad this was the stream type that we're having issues. So thank you everybody who's staying around and watching. I got to invest for like an actual computer. Damn. How long how old is your laptop? Cuz I know for some models you can get like external RAM or ask Titans honestly. <laughs> They're probably more well versed in that type of thing. But I was able to stream off my 2017 MacBook Pro. But I can only stream camera, no gameplay. You just have to adjust your processing settings and stuff. You got it in 2019? Ooh. I mean, that's not... It's not that old, right? I'm good with computers on your own. Okay. Don't ask for help, then. You could chat. Yeah, I get you. I get you, Mac. I mean, I think I've said it before, but before you stream, I'd practice, like, editing. Work on short-form stuff. Learn what makes good content. In your opinion.
Because I think with whatever you do in general, anything creative, I think it has to have some sort of meaning to it. Like, don't make shit just to make it. Make sure what you do has substance and meaning behind it. And you can choose what that meaning is. That's personally why I choose not to do trend content. Because there's limited meaning behind it. The only purpose is to get popular, right? I want to make sure anything I do has substance to some degree. Like, even if a lot of my commentary or clips is like, quote-unquote, relatable content, it's still a piece of myself that I'm sharing, you know? What's an EWI? That sounds like a medical procedure. <laughs> it's like, I got an EWI inserted in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think an interesting concept, Mac. Um, you could, like, make a wheel or put ideas in a hat and then draw it. And then do, like, improv. Or, I don't- I don't know if you write. That would fully depend on if you write. I think that'd be a cool concept. If you have affiliate, then you can have people use channel points to redeem. See, I- I have content brain, okay? I just can't execute everything that I think of. Electronic wind instrument. Oh! Cool! Coming along nicely. You able to read music very well? Okay. The only issue I see with music content Especially performing live, being concerned in DMCA, and then also, like, being able to perform for long periods of time. So if you want music to be, like, a focus, depending on what platform you stream on, it would have to be, like, a part of your broadcast. Like, you know how I don't usually do art for a whole stream but we do calligraphy every day it's like a segment because when you do stream content you have to find something to fill the time and usually playing one game for six hours isn't the way to go it wouldn't be my whole thing but it'd be a cool thing i could do exactly because i think if you could showcase a talent or a skill people will like that Because you're bringing something different to the table. Streaming is cool, but doing the side stuff is hard. Yeah. Like, if I... If I had a job and school, I wouldn't stream. I can only do two things. That's why I'm doing streaming and school. I tried school and work, but working while in school made me lose my fucking mind. Like, it, it fucked me up mentally. Because when you bring money into things, because when I was working, I didn't necessarily need to pay for expenses. But when you have something and then you don't have it anymore, it kind of messes with you. Almost done.
And you don't want to, like, overwork yourself. But definitely, once I graduate, I'm gonna start working. Because I feel like I'd be able to handle that. I give you something part-time to get a few hundred bucks a week. And I wouldn't have nothing, you know. Okay. I think this card's done. The texture of the background is really cool. <laughs> it's not going to focus because it's too close. Very nice. Okay, last card of the day. Ooh, we have Kobobo. Now, Kobobo, I swear to God, has like the coolest sweaters. And the sweater they had was, you know, like the cherry blossom Arizona cans. One of those. Let's get to work. Card number three. Small streamer TikTok is so funny. Because a lot of it is like just talking shit. <laughs> okay, not like talking shit directly. But it's just talking about like... It, it's kind of like, what's it called? Subtweeting, subtweeting. <laughs> it's so funny sometimes. Okay, let's get to work. <laughs> yeah, the mouth is fucked. It's kind of like this mouth. It's like. <laughs> Like, you know, the little, like, the little bear smile you see? Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> I sadly have to math now. Damn. Oh, bye. So thank you for hanging out. We appreciate you, man. And once again, thank you for gifting. You got a sketch card for the first time. Let's fucking go.
trying to do like more sketchy lines. Because I think the texture is interesting. So it's not necessarily as clean. Because usually when I do line art, see this is zoom at 45. You're supposed to do like, it's really zoomed in. Like single strokes. The issue you'll see with a lot of beginning artists is you'll see them do like this. Like lifting up their utensil partway through. And then getting a more like sketchy looking line. That's why with these brush pens you can get some really interesting line widths in one stroke. You can see here. Like, I'm intentionally doing multiple strokes to get a more sketchy, like, rough look. It's all about style. And what you intentionally want to make. The only issue with doing, like, single stroke line art is that you have to, like, commit to it. So when you're doing like more finer, like the smaller work like this, it's harder to commit to doing a single stroke. Like if I were to do a curvature like this, it's very easy to fumble when you're working small. I'm gonna keep the brush pen. I was gonna use the fine liner, but I think I'll keep doing with the with the brush. Okay, Twitch is having issues again. It's fine. It's fine. The video's not loading, but it's fine. We still have audio. Um, any audio listeners? <laughs> yeah, right, right. It just seems like it's gonna be an issue for today. What's up with Twitch? Uh, it just happens sometimes. It's whatever. It do be like that. Those lines look wild. <laughs> look a little bit wacky. Okay, my stuff is back up, so if you still see an error, refresh.
engage? Why is he engaged? <laughs> what did I do? There's going to be so many VODs. I mean, currently, we just have two. Because thankfully, the stream only DC'd one time. Thank God. But as of right now, there's only two. So we good, we Gucci. I need to look at the actual colors. The attack was black, brown, bright pink. I'm a self-report, but I slowly try to memorize what each third-party emote so I can use them in chat. <laughs> I feel like everybody does the like my go-tos are like Omega Lol or Sag. Cause like if you're on mobile, you can't really see the emote codes, and people who don't have the extensions downloaded, they don't you can't see them. But that's the glory with the server TV. Or third party emotes is like you don't necessarily need to know what it looks like if you already know what it looks like you just need to know what the code is and then you can kind of picture it in your head right so i totally get it they are fun to use though I mean, that's why I have it on chat, like the on-screen chat overlay. So mobile viewers still know what they look like.
You got hot train emotes? Yeah, I think you got them from yesterday, yeah? I never realized that. <laughs> well, enjoy them. Because hype train emotes you can use across all of Twitch. And you have them forever and ever. Okay, I'm going to use this light blue to blend. Going to sharpen it. Is it weird that I don't miss being at my parents' house, like, at all? No? Okay. I feel, like, guilty sometimes. Because, like, I haven't seen or talked to them... Like, for, I think I texted them, like, a week after I moved, because they had to drop off some of our mail that was still sent to the old place. But other than that, like, I feel fine. Like, I don't... Like, I hear, like, stories all the time. Like, people are like, oh, I miss my parents so much. And I'm just like, I don't at all. And I feel guilty sometimes. Because, like, I see, like, people, like, talk about, like, my friends, or, like, I see people post about, like, how, how much they love their family, or how much their family loves them, but... I never really felt that way. And I know that's not normal, but it's not necessarily, like... It's, I think it's kind of a bad thing. But it's hard for me to not feel guilty. Because I obviously can't share too much. But there's some things that have happened that is kind of like... Not cool. That they've done. Because I remember, I was telling my friends that, you know, I didn't go home for Christmas or Thanksgiving. They are like, how could you do that? And I'm like, well, I just don't want to see them. Does their sister talk to them? Well, she doesn't, like, text them or anything, but she's been to their house. She went for Thanksgiving and Christmas, so... I mean, to be fair... If they want to talk to you, they can. Yeah, like, I'm still able to reach them. Like, I haven't changed my contact information or anything. They know where we live. It's just... I'll, I'll talk to them when I'm ready, I guess. Look how solid Phil that is now. Very nice. Because I remember... Because, like, oh my god. I've been getting so many, like... what you call it? You ever... I wish I could pull it up, but I don't want to pull it up. It's so cringe. But it's, like, hashtag relatable things about being in a relationship. Not that I'm, like, missing being in one. But it's just, like, it's such, like, a nice thing to look back and remember, right? But... Fuck, what was my main point gonna be? <laughs> I forgot. I think my main point is like you're romanticizing the idea of somebody, whether it be like a relationship, family, romantic, but you don't realize like how better it could have been or how bad it was until you look at it from an outside perspective or once you're out of it. Because now that I'm not living with them, there's some things that like I've remembered from my childhood that weren't the best. Like, uh,. This one isn't too crazy, but this is obviously a sign of neglect. 
Um, sugar warning. But what... You ever see those, um, like, TLC shows where they have, like, the cheapy cheap people who will reuse, like, water, like, bath water to wash their dishes? My parents never did that, mind you. They never did that shit. But I remember they would make us reuse our bath water. Um, and I didn't remember that till, like, a week ago. Like, up until we were able to, like, talk back. So, like, teenagers, they would make us reuse each other's bath water. Yeah. And that is obviously a sign of neglect. Right? Like, you're not offering your kids sanitary conditions. Yeah. It's like the people don't flush. Yeah, my parents didn't flush either. Because they were like, oh, we need to save on our water bill. So that's obviously creating an unsanitary environment in your bathroom can spread disease and shit. Um. So it's just, like, things like that where your parent thinks it's a good thing in their head, but they don't really realize how it could affect the kid. <laughs> um. So anyway, I'm done trauma dumping. But that's, like, one of those things where I didn't really think about until recently. I was like, oh shit, that's probably not good that that happened. <laughs> and like, especially if you're a kid, like a teenager or like a tween, I think that's when you start like questioning things. Or that's when you also start like talking to other kids at school. Be like, oh, you do that at home? That's kind of weird. So guys, guys, if you feel like something is weird or if you feel unsafe, talk to your school counselors. I know they're not necessarily always the best, but they will help you document things. Um. And. And, like, there's other shit that I remember, too, that is not cool. And, you know, what? I, I, I literally saw a TikTok that perfectly expressed what I was feeling. And. It was basically like, it was like one of those fucking cliche like video with just text on it. <laughs> but it was basically saying, the reason why I choose to go no contact with my parents is because I'm finally on a path of healing and I know if I see them it's going to bring up everything that I'm trying to accept or get over. And it's just like, damn. Like, damn. <laughs> what was the monkey ball chant again? <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm done. Enough deep talking. We'll save that for the art channel. <laughs> but it's just like... That dynamic... Of like, living under somebody. Someone you're supposed to see is like this... I guess, you could say unattainable figure. Because you're supposed to see your parent as like, a caretaker. Someone who... You're supposed to look up to, but then when you look back on things and kind of realize, like, oh, maybe that wasn't the best. Or maybe I could have been treated better. It's really hard to, like, come to terms with. Yeah, I think, I think the copy pasta was, I'm going bananas. <laughs> Like, as I said earlier, if anybody has concerns about their own situation, always talk to your counselor. Or a trusted friend. My doctor sent me to the psychologist. Yeah, I saw that earlier, Mike. I just didn't say it. But, you know, you gotta get those referrals to help you get better, right? I mean, another thing to keep in mind with those psychologists, like, if you feel like one isn't a good fit, you can always find another one. Like, I'm out of therapy for now. 
Like, I'm supposed to re-enroll in either February or March, because I'm supposed to take a two-month break. But... I think it's weird. Because, um... My therapist, she was super nice. She had a similar lived experience to myself, so I felt like I could relate to her. But... It still feels weird... When they're, like, helping you walk through what you're feeling. Like, a good kind of weird, though, because it I understood that that was kind of, like, part of the process, right? Like, I would definitely recommend therapy for anybody who's feeling lost or feel like you can't handle your own thoughts on your own. Because they will give you the tools to help navigate it. Yeah, I agree. Medication is scary. It might be something that I may have to consider in the future, but I'm going to avoid it at all costs. <laughs> okay, let's do some golden blood. Yeah, it's very easy to get prescribed medication, though. Like, it's extremely easy. But my fear is that I don't know how it's going to affect me or if it'll make things worse. And I feel like learning how to navigate things on my own is a good first step. I think for the background, I want to do flowers. Similar to how I did Kobobo's card last month with like the stars and hearts. Both flowers. I think it'd be cute. And Twitch said their website is still glitching nine minutes ago. Lamau. Oh, we're still up. Oh, wait, fuck. It's two o'clock. You know what time it is. It's time for me to run some ads because chatters, we are technically three hours into stream. So it's time for me to tell you. If you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99, just five dollars. Skip your copy, get ad previewing all the time. Or you can like your Amazon Prime to Fuck! Or you can like your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Like subscribe, see if you have a Prime available. Get some water, get a snack, we will see some chatters in a few. It's wild that it's already 2 p.m. That doesn't seem real. <laughs> Poggers. <laughs> Bat chest, I love ads.
Sí, sí. I think that's the first time someone's redeemed the secret command this year. <laughs> I haven't changed it yet. Love out. Yeah, I haven't painted my nails in a few weeks because I've been painting more. And as you can see, they're not as long because I've been biting them more. But I think I'm going to paint my nails either today or tomorrow, I think. Because I was waiting for them to grow a little bit because like this one is basically a nub. But it's long enough to where I can paint it. And it won't look weird. I don't like having long nails. I love it. It's like... I think because... I'm at a point where, like, I kind of want to look more femme. And I associate longer nails with femininity. And since I'm not... Since I'm on my incel arc... I can, like, safely grow up my nails, you could say. <laughs> Low mo. But, um... I think because when I was working, I wasn't allowed to, like, roll up my nails. Because I was handling food, it wasn't necessarily a sanitary, right? Long nails aren't always a bad thing. <laughs> Says you. Anyway. So I wasn't, like, necessarily allowed to grow them out. So I'm going to enjoy the long nails while I can. I'm gonna add a border because I forgot. Well, that line was so straight. Holy. Damn, look how straight that fucking line is. I'm crazy. Okay, that one was bad. Okay, so now that I've used the darker pink, I'm gonna go in with a light pink and draw teeny tiny flowers. And <laughs> look how tiny they are.
you know, I think the lens breaking is a blessing in disguise. Because doesn't this look so nice? Because the way this lens is designed, it captures more light than the default one. So meaning it allows for more clear images in film. Dude, it looks so nice. I keep glancing at my preview and I'm like, oh my god. Oh, late. Okay, let's stop loading. Sometimes I feel like I can reach into the screen. <laughs> I mean, now that I know that lenses are this powerful, I think I will buy, like, a cheaper base camera. Like, still a DSLR. And then I'll just save to buy, like, higher-end lenses. Obviously, it would still cost, like, several thousand, so I'm not gonna be able to afford it till I can start working. Yeah, zoom out a little bit. I think I need to mess with the color filters on this camera, though. Makes everything look a bit dark. Because when I, um... When I was fiddling with it when I initially dropped it... <laughs> I... Because every tutorial I read online, it said, Oh, you need to remove it, detach it, put it back on. Remove the battery, put it back in, turn it off, turn it on, and then reset your whole camera. And I was like, okay, fuck, I guess I should try that then. So it, re it reset all my settings that I had. Because um, when you're capturing film like this through a capture card, you have to adjust the settings in a specific way. Do not have, like, your camera auto shut off. Or um, you have to adjust the frame rate depending on the capability of your capture card. That's why it took me a little bit to figure out what specific settings I needed yesterday. And the only thing I didn't change was the color filters. There's, it's also interesting because this is a face filter on it. Like, you know, the skin clearing? I don't enable it though. Because, call me weird. But I, I really appreciate human anatomy. I, I like unique body types. I think that's why I... I mean, being plus size myself. But I like... I like people who have, like, a little bit of chub, you'd say, because I think their anatomy is interesting. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so, like, I personally, whenever I post pictures, I never use filters. I... I never do the skin smoothing. Because I think it's important to appreciate every little part of yourself, right? And I think the texture of your face is really interesting. Because, like, naturally, it's not going to be smooth. There's going to be grooves and divots. Because that's where your skin pores are. And, like, you ever see, like, these super high-def pictures? Where it's, like, really close close-ups of their face. You can see the texture and the grooves. And the skin. I think it's so fucking cool. That's why, like, I don't cover up any pimples or anything. Unless it's, like, bleeding. Because I just think anatomy is really cool. And I think those smooth face smoothing filters take away a lot. Here we go. Beaut. I think this card's done. Very nice. Let's do a review. We had three cards this month. We had 
to show all three? Yeah. I'll post these on Twitter later. We had Issa. I didn't. And then Cold Bobo. I think my favorite card is Titans. I think the line art on this one is pretty solid and the texture of the background is nice. Very simple, but sometimes simple is better, right? Very nice. Okay. Very nice. To review. Today. <laughs> we did December sketch cards. We also... Updated our follower journal. So if you follow the channel, you will write your name. Very nice. Um, stream is not over just yet. Because we get to do calligraphy. If you're new to stream, anybody who subs, cheers, donates, gets their name written at the end of stream, you can also use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. Any redeemers? Can you change your title? I'm about to redeem VIP Copium. You're literally always helping Copium. I think this one is pretty solid. I keep telling you, the ones with weird anatomy look crazy good. We had Titans and Mac today. I'm getting my pens. I will sing a song. Wait, what? Again? I thought I had one redemption per- <gasps> No, it's because there's two VODs! Oh no! Fuck. <laughs> Shit. What a menace. What are you saying earlier? <laughs> um, um, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Should I sing the same song again? <laughs> Reroll! You know what's a very underrated 7TV mode? That literally nobody uses. Nobody uses. Reroll. <laughs> it's from the artisan PC controversy where he was like, "Oh, let's actually not give away that PC to that person because <laughs> they have no clout." <laughs> and he was like, "Reroll." Okay. Um. Hmm. Whoop! I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. My throat hurts. How about we um, PSA2 shake and I refund your points and you can redeem tomorrow. Deal? PSA2 shake, if you agree. <laughs> you agree? Because <laughs> we technically already sang today. We technically already sang. Can you say two shake? Okay, cool. I'll redeem your points. I'm not gonna scam you. I would never scam. Okay, refunded. Thank you, I appreciate it. Playing Mario Kart online is scary? Not really. Not gonna lie. It's not as scary as it used to be. Okay. I feel like it'd be time.
<laughs> oh no, the timing. <laughs> Did you get boomed? First to ninth, bro. Dude, you got fucked. I hate when that happens. I mean, that's the glory of marker. Anybody can win, but also anybody can lose. I think that makes the win so much better, though. Like, whenever I get top three, I'm so happy. Okay, once again, thank you, Mac. For the one gifted to the chat room. I appreciate you. VTuber era, I have a welcome in and give it some peace out to us for Vora. I've had this model for a bit. We just use it sometimes for art. Because <laughs> I found for these art streams, I'm able to concentrate more if I don't have a camera on me. And it makes me feel a lot better. And then I don't have to worry about, like, being in weird positions when I draw. Okay, we had Titans with an 8-month resub. They are very close to getting that flower badge one month away. Okay, so those are all the donation names for today. If you want me to write your name, you can use your channel points. Any redeemers? We had two people redeem. We had Wolf redeem Rainbow. You just bought the DLC? Nice! It's gonna take a while to learn majority of the DLC tracks because a lot of them they don't loop or they change throughout every lap so they're gonna be a lot harder to memorize but they're all pretty fun. Took you, what, a year to buy it, Vora? Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. We had Wolves R Us. We have one name left. Last call, chatters. If you want me to write your name, you can donate to the channel or use your channel points. I'm doing pink for Mac because that's the color I had right here. We don't get many pink redeems, so it's a new brush. Or it's basically new. Got a nice tip. There we go. Yeah, last call. 
five, four, three, two, one. We're done. We're done. Okay. I would like to thank everybody for watching. I had a good time today. Even with all the hiccups from Twitch. Makes me really mad sometimes. But thank you everybody for hanging out. If you chatted, if you lurked, thank you for hanging out with us today. If you liked what you saw and you weren't following, follow the fucking channel. You get to type in chat and you get cool emotes. And if you're already following, make sure notifications turn on. That way you can catch and watch every single stream. Wowie. I will be live again tomorrow with a bonus sub goal stream. We're going to play Mario Odyssey, Darker Side. If you don't know what Darker Side is, it's torture. Stream ends when I beat it. The level's like 20 minutes long. Stream ends when I beat it, finally. Okay. Once again, thank you Titans and Mac for subscribing today and gifting. I will see you guys tomorrow. My name's Markiplier. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> so dumb and so funny. Can you still watch Markiplier? I watch some of his videos sometimes. But nothing like crazy. I'm debating what I want to do today. I'm like, should I edit? Should I paint? Or should I just play Pokemon all day? I don't know. We're trying something new with the ending. We're going to be live for a few minutes. That way we can hang out with the subs. But I had fun today. I know it's more chill. Sad to no face cam, but dude. This new lens. I'm going to keep gloating about it. It's never going to get old. It looks fucking crazy good. I have to watch back the VOD. Just to see like how nice the calligraphy looks. Like I can't imagine how fucking crisp she is. Imagine. <laughs> oh yeah, we were talking about like what sound bits. I think the ones I've written down are imagine unless Lamau. <laughs> what else? For a second I thought I wasn't gonna be able to say bye. Nah, you have a sub, you're good. Even if you're like, a non-sub, you can still type, you just can't hear the stream. Which is kind of nice. Like, if you're a visual watcher, anyway. Yeah. Isn't it wild how some streamers will have, like, a 20-minute intro screen? I can't imagine doing that. Like, to think that people will wait 20 minutes. is crazy. You know what else is crazy? Having to watch ads. Okay. <laughs> Wait, for one of the sound bits, it should be like, you know, my transition. You know what time it is. <laughs> That'd be a good sound bit. I got so many good ones lined up. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.